name's Liz and I'm the baker that sews. Um, welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber and welcome if you are not and you're new. Um, today I thought I'd talk about all of the fabrics that I've been able to buy uh, whilst we've been on lockdown. Um, first of all I just want to say a huge thank you to all of the companies, the independent businesses that are still running and able to post things out. Um, being able to buy lots of fabric has certainly cheered me up and it's kind of got me quite motivated and inspired for sewing whereas the last couple of weeks I've not really felt like sewing. And also a massive thank you to um, Sister Mintaka who has been running all this week a hashtag for um, feeling so much better I think the hashtag is. Um, and that has definitely spurred me on. Um, since schools were closed and we've been in lockdown etc etc and all this craziness has been going on um, I haven't really been able to put my mind to sewing. I've not really wanted to. I found it, I found it really difficult to settle to anything really in particular. Um, so yeah, having that hashtag feeling so much better going this week has definitely motivated me and I've managed to get two things made, which is great. Um, so before I talk about all the fabric, this is a tiny amount of the fabric. I've got a massive, massive pile next to me. Um, I thought I'd share what I'm wearing. So um, I'm filming today, it's Saturday, uh, 4th of April, and it's the virtual um, Frocktails party online. So everyone's encouraged to put on a nice frock and share what they're wearing. Um, so this is the newly finished um, Park Lane dress by Nina Lee. So I'll stand up very briefly. I will try and put a better photo in here of me wearing it, but I love the frill detail on the shoulders and this fabric is from So Me Sunshine. I picked it up at the Stitch Festival um, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's an absolute dream to work with and I love this dress. It's so pretty and it's actually really nice to be able to wear it. I'm just wearing it in my house at the moment with a cup of tea um, but I'll be opening the wine a bit later because I'm going to cook a roast dinner for us. We quite like having a roast on a Saturday. I don't quite know why we like it on a Saturday but anyway. On to the fabric. So a couple of things I've cut out, made up already. Um, like I said, thanks to the, um, the hashtag by Sister Min Tucker. So I'll start with the first fabric that I bought, which was, um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this made up already, but this is um, a cotton jersey from Like So Amazing. Um, so I got the pink and the red stripe, and then I got the other, like the opposite colorway, which is the, I don't want to show off my pyjamas too much because I'm going to share that in a different makes video, but I got the red and the pink stripe. It's so snuggly and soft. It's like it's got that lovely sort of texture on the inside and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I chose to do um, the contrast cuff on the bottom um, and then with the uh, top, so I used the Tabitha t-shirt for the pyjamas, Juno pyjamas, I did the contrast band and the same for uh, the neck band. Um, and I love these pyjamas, I've worn them lots already, they're really cosy. So that was fabric from Like So Amazing, so thank you Sarah for getting that out to me. Um, yeah, I'm just in awe of all the businesses that are still going, especially if they've, they're used to having a team of people helping them and they're now having to do it all by themselves. I really appreciate the effort that it must take to get all of the things out to people, so thank you Sarah. So that's the first one. The next one, um, this was last month's box. Um, I subscribed to the So Haley Jane um, sewing subscription box. And last month was a, I've written all of it down on this list. I've filmed this video already, but then I couldn't remember what half the fabrics were called and it just turned out to be a dreadful video, so I've filmed again. Um, so yeah, this is a viscose linen um, and I can't decide what to make with it. I've had it, normally when the boxes come, I fall in love with the fabric straight away and I know exactly what I want to make and I make stuff up. And I've pretty much used every fabric that I've got. I've been subscribed to um, So Hilly Jane for over a year now and I've pretty much used all of the fabrics. Um, and I've used them pretty instantly, but this one for some reason, I don't know whether it's the stripes or whether it's viscose linen, which I haven't used really. Um, I don't know what it is that I, I'm just really struggling to know what to make. So if anyone's got any suggestions, this is the fabric. It's lovely, it's a really lovely way. It's got a really lovely um, sort of drape to it. And I think Hayley made um, the Sophia dungarees pattern from Tilly's new book, I've got it here, but it's under a massive pile of fabric, the book. Um, and it's really pretty, the one that she made. I've made quite a few of the dungarees, so maybe that's why I don't want to do the same. But yeah, I'm not quite sure. I think something for the summer. I love a dress. Um, so if anyone's got any ideas, let me know, because it's beautiful fabric. I'm just, I'm really not sure what to make with it. 
So that's from Sir Haley Jane, and I know she's working her socks off at the moment to try and get the boxes out as normal. So thank you, Haley, because I love getting my little treat each month, and I again really appreciate the effort that goes into it. And she normally has a big team of people helping her cut out and pack the boxes and things. And I know that she's having to do it alongside looking after her daughter and uh, yeah, just doing everything by herself. So thank you, Haley. I really appreciate it. So next, let's do um, we'll do semi sunshine because. I've got the pile of semi sunshine fabrics here. So, first one is a modal jersey which I bought from um, Lovely Harriet. And this is the fabric, it's beautiful, beautiful colourway. Gorgeous sort of jade green, would you say? I don't know. And then it's got like these mustard, sort of almost like splodge type stripe. I'm not describing it very well, but you know what I mean. Um, it's a really, really lovely soft jersey. I've already made it into something. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it already. But I turned it into the Georgie dress. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to show you that now because I'm going to um, do a makes video where I talk about that. But love the fabric. It's so soft. I think because it's a modal jersey, it's really soft. It's like definitely secret pyjamas. Then I bought uh, this Tiger navy jersey. I don't know if the navy's going to come up. Yeah, it's just about, there we go. And it's got all these different tigers on that have got different coloured stripes. Um, yeah, and I really love it. I think I bought two metres. Yeah, I did buy two metres. Now, I uh, first of all, I should have moved to the book, um, had a bit of a bonkers idea to sew something from here. Now, I think it could be quite fun, but I really want to make the Stella hoodie and the trousers in this. I don't know if it's a bit too bonkers for a 35-year-old woman to be making a tiger tracksuit. I mean, it would be loungewear for wearing at home, because let's face it, we're all staying at home at the moment. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, it would be this. This sort of um, joggers set. In tigers? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think, I think it might be fun. It could be quite bonkers too. I've also got a really tiger obsessed daughter Lola and um, she's nine she loves tigers so if I chicken out of making a um, joggers and hoodie for me then maybe I'll turn it into something for her but I just love that fabric and I teach um, five-year-olds four and five-year-olds and my class is called tiger class hence all the tiger teddies I'm still filming videos each week for the children just so that they they know that I still care about them and I can keep in touch with them so I wouldn't wear it to school I think that would be a bit full-on Maybe I could wear the joggers for PE. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's lovely fabric from um, Semi Sunshine. And then I've got um, this. It's Cheetah Sky Blue Viscous. I'm just reading my list down here because this is what happened earlier when I filmed and I couldn't remember anything. But look at this. It's such a beautiful colour. I don't know if it's coming up properly. Um, sky Blue. It's looking a bit grey on the camera, but it is, it's Sky Blue. Um, beautiful drape because it's a viscose it re it's just it's so lovely um yeah not sure what to make with it i might make the safia dungarees from tilly's make it simple book just got it here from the make it simple book i might make them i've made them quite a few times or actually i could make the wrap from play suit don't know um, but it's beautiful, I love it, it's really soft, it's really lightweight, so it's going to be perfect for the spring summer. Um, so yeah, that's beautiful, love that. And then, I know exactly what I'm going to make with this one, I'm going to make the sapphire trousers. Um, and this is a viscose twill, mind the maker. And it's sort of, I can't work out whether it's like, it's black I think, a black background, and then it's got this like burgundy floral print, mind the maker fabrics are absolutely beautiful. Um, it's looking a bit, it's kind of looking a bit green on there, but I know it's not. It's definitely sort of a black back, background, uh, and that again, it's got such a lovely drape that I'm going to make the um, Sophia trousers. But yeah, it's so pretty. I love that. Um, so that is everything I got from Harriet. So thank you so much, Harriet, for sending those out so quickly. I'm really excited to get started on making things with those. And then I'll do. Um, Let's do Felicity Fabrics next. So I bought a pattern, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, because I got that from Luby Doo Fabrics. Um, and I'm going to use this fabric, I think, to make a version of that. It's going to be the Burnside bibs, I think. But this is an, a bottle green. I'm not sure how well it's coming up on there. Bottle green, really soft cord. It's baby cord. Um, oh, it's just so lovely. It's got a lovely weight to it, but it's also... 
really lovely and drapey. Um, yeah. And it's a plain colour for once. Normally I go for something that's quite wacky. I mean, lots of those have been prints, but this is a plain block colour. So yeah, it's bottle green. I don't know if it's coming up on there very well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to turn that into some Burnside bibs, which I can't wait for. Whoops, sorry, Tigger. Um, I don't know if he's going to stay. don't know. Right, there we go. Uh, so that was from Felicity Fabrics and they box their fabrics up, they come in this gorgeous box with a, an envelope with a swatch and the care instructions, how to wash it, how to look after your fabric, it comes really beautifully packaged. So thank you again to Felicity Fabrics, um, that fabric is just beautiful. So next, let's do Luby Doo because I've got a couple of patterns to talk about as well. Um, so I got from Luby Doo Fabrics um, this really cute sweatshirt fabric. Um, jungle print, it's absolutely beautiful, I love, love, love it, it's got these leopard prints all over it and the palm trees, the pale pink background and then, um, is it like a sunset, the dark pink, I think it's like a sunset, so unbelievably soft, because it's a sweatshirt and it's got like this fleece back, oh, so I'm going to turn that into a t-shirt, I think probably the Tabitha t-shirt, um, and then I can see that being paired with my Burnside bibs, because I've got a couple of fabrics which I think I'm going to use to make my Burnside bibs. So this would look really cute underneath the Burnside bibs I think. How many times can I say Burnside bibs in one sentence? But, And then I think I'll probably have a bit left over because I think I've got just over a metre and it's quite wide fabric. So then I would quite like to make um, Lola, my daughter, a matching top. Or I've got a friend who's expecting a baby in May so I might make some baby clothes out of that because I think that'd be really cute. I think that'd be, that would make some really lovely baby clothes. So yeah, lovely. Um, and then from Luby Doo, I got some patterns. They had, um, I think they had a discount code. Yeah, I think they did. They had money off. So I got the Burnside bibs, and I saw um, Tamlin from Sewn on the Time made some gorgeous Burnside bibs. Um, and I think she hacked them so that they were like the Lucy and Yak dungarees. So I'm going to make some of those using that cord and using another fabric that I bought from Lamazi Fabrics, which I'll show in a minute. So I'm really excited to make those. I've wanted to make them for ages. And then because there was a discount code at Luby Doo, I thought, why not? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get them because they're really cute. And I really like having paper patterns and then I trace it off. I can't be bothered to do PDFs. I'm lazy. Um, I much prefer to have, like, the, I love when you get, like, the little booklet. You know, I like having the instruction booklet. I like having all of that to my you know, that I can just flick through when I need to. I like having it to hand. Um, and then I've seen loads of people. Now, I could be wrong here saying that Hayley from So Hayley Jane has made these and Shona from So Is Faction has made these. Sorry, I got cut off when I was just about to talk about this pattern. Uh, so, yeah, I bought the Tanya Colots. I love how it looks like a skirt, but actually it's Colots. It's shorts. Um, so those are the line drawings. Hopefully you can see... So I'm probably going to make the longer version to begin with, maybe the short one for the summer. But yeah, I really love the Tanya Colots and I got that from Luby Doo. So thank you so much for the discount because it meant that I could get two lovely patterns. And again, I just like having the booklet. I think, you know, there's something really nice about being able to hold the booklet and flick through when you need a little bit of extra support uh, rather than printing it. I don't have a printer at home, or I do, but... I can never be bothered to buy the ink so it's nice just to have that and then I'll trace that off uh, which is lovely so that was Luby Doo fabrics and then I have got a couple of things from Lamazi which I'll talk about so again thinking about the Burnside bibs I went on to lots of different websites to try and find some viscose uh, tensile twill sorry not viscose twill tensile twill because I know that it's got it's quite weighty but it's got, it, at the same time, get your words out Liz, at the same time, um, it's got lovely drape, and this has, and I'm pretty drawn to greens at the moment. Uh, last month it was rust and mustard, this month I seem to be drawn to a lot of green. Yeah, so quite a lot of my fabrics are, sort of, they've got green in, I seem to be drawn to that. Um, so I think they're going to make a gorgeous pair of Burnside bibs, with the idea that I can wear some of my quite funky t-shirts I think they'll go really nicely hold it up properly I think they'll go really nicely together it's like game of peepo isn't it with a baby I think they'll go really nicely together uh yeah so I'm really looking forward to getting those made up so 
So that one was a tensile twill in teal colour uh, from Lamasi Fabrics. And then I also, again it's green, I don't know what my obsession with green is at the moment, I got some of this which is a linen viscose. Um, let's hold it the right way around. Which way is... Ah, that's the right way around. Yeah, so it's quite bold, it's got these really big flowers on. Um, and I'm going to use that to make some um, Sophia trousers for the spring summer. I've got a couple of plain t-shirts which I think it'll go really nicely with. Uh, and again, it's got a really lovely drape and I just love the big floral design that's on there. I think it's really fun. Um, so yeah, and I think green's my colour, but I mean this is going to be on my bottom half anyway. So. Um, so anyone else when they get fabric start wrapping it around themselves to see what it looks like. Let me know below if, if you do that. I spend ages in the mirror just going, hmm, is it, is it the colour I was hoping it was going to be? Is it going to look nice? I don't know. I'm sure I'm not the only person that does that. Um, so that is from Lamazi Fabrics. And then the last huge pile is from uh, Material Care Laura. She's had tons of amazing fabrics. Please go and check them out and stop me from buying any more. I did joke that I can't buy any more. So I've managed to get quite a lot of beautiful fabrics from her. So I'll start with, I've got this is called Sasha Fierce Jersey and it's sort of an orangey rust colour and I got two metres of that, of this sorry, and I think I might try and make the Georgie dress again because I've just made it um, by sew so over it and um, it's a really lovely dress, I love, you line the bodice which I haven't done before with Jersey, so you line the bodice so it's really fitted and it's got this lovely like pleat detail, I don't know if I can show you. Um, you're probably not going to be able to see it properly. You need to sort of be, be able to see it on. But it's got this really... You can't see that at all. It's got a really lovely sort of pleat detail. Um, really lovely long skirt. Long sleeves. And it's just really cosy. It's definitely secret pyjamas. So I might... I might I don't know if that's too much. Because it's quite orange. Rusty orange. But I might turn that into a Georgie dress. Or if you've got an idea of something else, let me know. If you can hear the door slamming, I'm sorry, my children are at home and they're making lots of noise. So that was the first one from her, from Laura. And then I got this because I couldn't resist it. I'm feeling quite sad about the possibility of not really being able to go on holiday in the summer. I know, in the grand scheme of things, don't need to be feeling sad. We're all fit and healthy at the moment, which is great. And I know it's really important that we've all got to stay home, but I do feel sad that our summer holiday is probably not going to happen. And today we should have been going to see Matilda up in town and um, yeah, we've been really looking forward to it since Christmas. We got tickets from my in-laws, um, so instead we're going to watch Matilda as a family later and have some popcorn. Uh, but anyway, fabric. Um, I got this lovely fun jersey from Material Girl Laura. I'm just going to make a t-shirt out of it. Um, I love it. It's got palm trees, it's got people on it, like sunbathing on sun lounges, it's got cocktail drinks. It's just, it's really fun. Oh, flamingos too. Can you see the flamingos? Are they flamingos? Oh no, is it a flamingo? No, it's a pelican, I think. I don't know why I thought they were flamingos. Maybe it's because they're pink. Are they pelicans? I think they're pelicans. They've got the big beak. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to make a t-shirt out of that. And I think, again, with the Burnside bib, I think they would go quite cute. Uh, that would be quite a cute summer-spring outfit. So that's really lovely, I love it. Then I bought some of this, which is, I'm just looking at the list to make sure I say it correctly, um, Zebra Spots Viscose, which is a blue, and I have been told that this is, the, this is a colour that really suits me. Um, it's, it's kind of like a purpley blue, it's beautiful, with these flecks of mustard dots, it's coming up quite bright. Um, yeah, that's a bit better. So yeah, I got, I think I've got two metres of that, and I'm going to make, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to make, possibly the Tanya Clots, um, maybe an indigo, because it's one of my favourite dresses, and I love swishing about in a dress, but I also got the um, Sewing Bee book, and there's some amazing patterns in there, so I could make something out of there, like, I'm sure there's a, well, there's loads of beautiful things in here. But yeah, I could make, I saw a really lovely, maybe it was the maxi dress, um, which I could make. But yeah, I'm not quite sure, if I'm honest. I just really loved the fabric and I didn't want to not uh, get any. 
yeah so I, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with that basically sorry you just watched me flick through a book and then to say that I don't really know what I'm going to make anyone got any ideas for a floaty dress let me know uh, down below and then I got this which I absolutely love it's I could only get a meter and a half I wanted two meters but this is all Laura had left um, it's like sort of purpley grey background almost like a lilac and then it's got these pops of yellow and pink and darker purple flowers and it's called um, leopard flowers crepe and I just love it it's not something it's not like my colorway normally I don't really have anything lilac or purple but I absolutely love it I think it's so beautiful and yeah I'm not sure what to make with those possibly the Tanya Collotts um, or a skirt or maybe yeah that would be really nice as a floaty skirt actually it's got a really lovely drape um, and that is a crepe it's really soft it's got a little bit of stretch yeah tiny amount of stretch um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that one and then the last thing that I got from Laura was this I'm just checking what it's called uh, I think it's called spots spots another crepe spots crepe can't get my words out and again I think yeah that's got a tiny bit of stretch and the thing I love about this I'm obsessed with clearly obsessed with this pink and red going on but can you just see the gold shimmer in the background it's really pretty um, so yeah I think this is probably going to oh, it's quite sheer not like super sheer but you can see the dark blue behind um, so maybe some kind of dress I was thinking trousers but because it's quite sheer you'd probably be able to see my underwear and I don't really want that it's not a good look so maybe or maybe a top maybe a blouse maybe mm, I don't know anyway um, I love all the fabrics I don't have a clue what I'm gonna make with half of them but that's that's quite fun I quite like being able to browse um, Instagram and get inspired by people so if you've got any ideas for any of the fabrics or if you've got these fabrics and you know what you're gonna make inspire me um, because half of them I don't have a clue um, I also got the um, House of Pin Heroes work to weekend wardrobe book um, so I've got lots of things to sort of flick through there's a couple well there's a lot of absolutely gorgeous um, let me just find this one because this I just it's absolutely beautiful. It's a jumpsuit. If, you, if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know I'm obsessed with jumpsuits. But how cool is that? I love the, the um, colour blocking. The trousers are a great shape. And I love this sort of off-the-shoulder look. Um, so definitely, that's the first thing that I wanted to make from that. Um, I could use some of my new fabric. Um, yeah, because it suggests light to medium weight. Like a viscose mix. And I've got a few of those. Um, so yeah. You might see me making that soon. Um, but anyway, I can see that this video is very long, so I'm going to stop rambling, because I am rambling a little bit now. I'm going to tidy all this fabric away, and then maybe pour myself some wine for virtual frocktails. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will be back soon. I think the next video I'm going to do is I've got three fabrics. I, um, I had a sort out of, after the um, video where I did a sewing room tour, I did realise that some of my fabrics were in a bit of a state, so... I pulled them all out and I've reorganised them and then I rediscovered three beautiful fabrics that I've had that I want to make something with but I'm really not sure what to make. So my me next video I might share those with you, share what I'm thinking and then maybe get some inspiration from you guys. Um, so that'll be my next one and then possibly um, I'll do one where I talk about my plans for April maybe because I've cut a couple of things out already. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video.